So the empirical rule tells us for any data that's normally distributed um, that it'll follow this shape where the majority of the data, 68%, uh, or this is a little more exact, are in that center section. And if you go out two standard deviations, you catch 95%. And if you go out three standard deviations, you catch 99.7. Virtually all of the data would be somewhere within three standard deviations of the mean. But these, this idea of the mean and standard deviations is pretty abstract until you look at a specific problem. So here we have IQ scores have bell-shaped distribution with mean of 101, standard deviation of 12. So before we even try to figure out this 77 and 125, let's change these, these into actual numbers. So it says the mean of this distribution is 101. So that would be right here. That symbol mu, mu is mama, the Greek letter for M, which is why it stands for mean. So right in the center of the distribution there are the people who have IQs of 101. And here is mu, that 101, plus one standard deviation. Since we don't see a number out front there, we just assume there's one of them. Here there's two of them, here there's three of them. So how much is that standard deviation worth? Well, it says it's worth 12. So this mean plus standard one standard deviation would be that 101 plus 12. So if we were going to write that in an actual IQ score, it'd be 113. We're going to do a similar thing here. Uh, here we have the mean of 101 plus 2 times that standard deviation of 12. So 2 times 12 would give us 24. And we're going to add that to the mean to give 125. And we can do a similar thing here where we, we have the mean minus one standard deviation. So that 101 minus 12, and that's going to give us 89. And I'm going to continue doing those. Let me do those real quick. Okay, so we can continue to fill those out. This would be the mean of 101 minus 2 times 12 and, and so on. So this gives us a much better picture in terms of IQ scores where, where people score. In other words, um, two-thirds of the people, or, or 68%, 68.27 if you want to be more exact, uh, of, of people have an IQ in between 89 and 113. Um, or if, if we want to go between 77 and 125, uh, we would get this entire area under the curve, which would be 95.45%, or often we shorten that to 95%. And if we wanted to go between 65 and 137, we could get 99.73, um, virtually all the data. And this is often why geniuses are considered uh, more than three standard deviations above, just because they're so rare. And we also have a similar thing with um, intellectually disabled, uh, would often be people who are that far out in, in the extreme of the tails. So to answer the question, what percentage of IQ scores are between 77 and 125? Uh, we would go right there to right here. So we're catching this percent of the data, 95.45. Um, I'm not sure whether the question is going to ask for you to put it as 95.45 or just round it to 95. You'll need to check the answer on, on one of them to see what they're, they're doing. I would say the 95% is probably what they're looking for uh, because this is the rule of thumb that people are usually talking about when they say the empirical rule. Now you could also have a question such as what percent of people have an IQ between 101 and 113? And here you'd have to use a little more strategy because you'd have to realize that you want the distance or the area here that's on the right half of this pink portion, but you don't want the left half. If you're only looking between 101 and 113, again, this is not what the question is asking, uh, but another question could ask that. And so what you'd have to do is take that 68% that's the total 
area of the pink and you'd split it in two. So you get 34% of people have IQs between 101 and 113, or for that matter, between 89 and 101. Um, or you might say, what percent of people have IQs above 89? So that would be starting right here. It would be the entire rest of the curve. And how we would get that is we know that the halfway point is right here. So everything to the right of that is half of the distribution or 50% of people. And then we'd have to add in this little chunk here in between 89 and 101. Like we just said, that was 34%. Uh, so that would give us a total of 84% of people have IQs higher than 89.